What I, what I do here is uh, when we got them all done, we'll turn the moccasin over like that. And when we, so when we turn it back, this is one side and this is the other side. Then we'll take the toe plugs and we'll, I look at them. And it's higher, a little bit higher here, not that much, but then it comes down this way. So, so therefore, this is the high part over here where your big toe is going to be and your little toe over here. So then we just take it, and I, al I always start on the out outside of the foot. So then I will just take those and set it like that. Then we'll take the needle. Do you want to grab a needle, Brent, please? No, no, lacing needle. Hook and eye. Like that when I, after we cut the strings also, we make sure I give it a good pull because we're going to be pulling it. Every stitch we make, we're going to be pulling the string. They're in the bag. Here. They're in a the little plastic bag then. Right here. Everybody is going to have to have a hook and eye needle. So we can help yourself to them. Oh, look at the bears on there. <laughs> and, at, and at the end of the, we have three lengths of, of um, string, one that's going to sew on the fringe. There's four shorter ones that's going to sew on the, through the back of the moccasin, and we have two medium-sized ones that we're going to sew the toe with. This is a little bit long, but it's good to have it a little bit long. So we just thread the needle. And the way we thread the needle is from the, there's a smooth side, and then there's another little, come on, listen. Whose wallet did that come out? And uh, there's a smooth side to the needle if everybody wants to grab one. And notice, then there's a double side up on the top there. So you're going to thread it from the smooth side through that little hole. And then you're just going to, you're just going to put the, just a little pressure. And you're going to thread, you're going to put your end of your thread under it. So that little, see the little thing that sticks down? It pokes in the leather and holds it there. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start, it doesn't matter what side you start on, one is always easier to sew than the other. You're going to come through the first hole with these 26 holes around here, we got four at the bottom here, but on the, on the, on the first hole we're going to come through, your leather, your leather's a little bit thick, and then you're going to turn it so that when you put your needle through the second hole, it's going to go through that little hole. That's what I, I do to keep it from coming apart. And then we're going to count eight holes up. That's for the, there's eight holes here, so we're going to count eight holes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ninth hole, we're coming in from the outside. Then we're going to come back through the same hole here. Her leather's thick. <laughs> Yeah, your, your leather here is thick. <laughs> then we're going to pull it straight through. <laughs> Maybe. You think? Can you trim my feet? What's that? Yes, you need to have your... Is the hardest one. This is, the, is going to be the hardest one to do. Because okay. it's doubling. And then I always sew with the suede side out. Just... Just gives a little contrast to the moccasin. And also, my reason for doing it is because with this hide being thick like this, sometimes by the time you get down over here, it's this top part kind of kind of peels off. So then you don't, if you're sewing with the good side, once in a while you're going to see suede side anyways. And you are going to be threading your needle a lot. <laughs> and then you just come back to the next hole. Then you pick up the little one, the little hole we started with, 
and the next one. Then you just pull that through. See, it's, it's easier than the first one was. But you got a thin, a thin, but it's still gonna be strong, but thin, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thin around. You could have had about that thick. You could have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then the next, you come to the next one and the next one, and if you notice, it's a little, it's a little slanted, right? See where the needle is? So what you do here is you take the foot part of it, you pinch it up so your needle's gonna come right straight at you. Oh, so it's not supposed to be crooked like that. You gotta no. straighten it out. Yep. Yeah, that, that makes a pucker. Oh. Then, you, then you go around again. It's, it's a little tuck like that. I mean, then you pull it and you pinch it. And then myself, when I sew moccasins, I have my, I, I'll put my leather there. And then when I pull it down, it's going to go down the way I want it to. And, and, and as I said, that's when you pull it in extra tightness again. The next one and the next one. I don't wait until it's pulled through to find out which side it's going to be on so that I have to take it back out. Want suede side all the time. <laughs>